Matag for the Cebuanos, maupay nga aga for the Warewarais, and magandang umaga para sa mga Tagalog. Uh, I thank you for uh, for those who watch my live, or maybe you missed the announcement. But I thank you if you're watching now. I thank you for spending this time to listen to what I want to share this morning. As I have said in my live uh, post uh, the other day, I said that um, after much prayer and uh, after God telling me to really sing unto Him and declare His uh, wondrous works, so I'm now starting uh, the first in the series of uh, Under the Project Renown. So this project, uh, my goal is to make known who God is and to also share this through the songs that I will be featuring in each uh, post, uh, in each video. That I am Pinky, sincerely uh, spending time and uh, sharing to you uh, wonderful messages about God through the songs that I will feature. And for this first series, I will be sharing to you songs from Sandy Patty or by Sandy Patty. Sandy Patty is a famous Christian artist who started way, way back, I think, in late 70s. And um, she has been a strong influence in my uh, music ministry and an inspiration to me why I wanted to sing solo. And uh, there was a time that uh, every song that she would release, I would really wait for it. I would uh, study it and I'll be excited to sing it. And now I thank the Lord that I can have this time to feature some of the songs. She has so many songs to feature some of her songs that I believe is communicates the messages that we need to hear during this time. And also, I decided to start Sincerely Yours uh, with Sandy Patty's collection because I would like to ask everyone to also pray for her. She has been tested positive for COVID and she's already in her seniors mm -hmm. and uh, help me pray that she will survive, she will beat COVID, she will be stronger, and uh, she will sing more for the Lord after this. Uh, I will be sharing to you, which was pre-recorded, is entitled, In His Love. Um, I decided to start with this song because it talks about one important thing uh, in my life, the love of God. Uh, there was, I, would talk, I was talking to somebody lately, and she was asking me, how are you? How are you facing this situation? And I told her, yeah, sometimes I feel nervous also. If I will just allow myself to keep on thinking, I will be afraid. I will be paranoid and maybe I cannot sleep anymore. But I thank the Lord because every day, though we watch the news, what's happening, every day I just have this peace and I just, I'm still able to sleep well and just go about each day doing the best that we can for this lockdown period and i ask myself why because i know for sure i am secured in the love of god i just would like to share to you the, some verses from romans 8 it says for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of Christ, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. From the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Neither death, neither this COVID can separate me uh, from the love of God. And so, I have the security in my heart. Yes, uh, sometimes I feel afraid. Uh, what if we get infected like that but deep inside there is this assurance of God's love and I would like to read also what is this kind of love that uh, I am experiencing with God it is a great unconditional love it is a love that is not uh, based on what I did based on how I look based on my accomplishments it is a love that is unconditional 
here in John 15, it says, Greater love has no man than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. So, this is the kind of love that I have in Jesus because he laid down his life for me. And it says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. In this song, In His Love, Sandy Patti was singing about this calm assurance that you have. It's like uh, you are resting in his arms, in his hands, that nothing in this world can affect you. You can rise above the scare, you can rise above the storms, because you know God loves you and God is holding you. So this is his love that I want to share to all of you as you listen to the song in his love. to be able to experience the messages of each song that uh, she has sung and delivered which I believe has been an encouragement to all of us and so my prayer for you is that uh, in this time of crisis I know it's very hard especially for our frontliners I pray that uh, you who are listening right now will have that assurance that somebody loves you 
I don't know if you have a problem in your family or in your relationship or if your family is okay then very good but uh, there's someone who loves you not just uh, temporarily there's someone who loves you eternally but for you to experience that love you must have a personal relationship with him so I would like to pray for you and uh, hope that in this time of our crisis uh, you you will not just be actively participating to fight the crisis to help find solutions but uh, you will also be able to find the love of God in your heart the love of God that is unconditional the love of God that he has freely given but not without the cost it is through the blood of Jesus Christ Shall we pray? Loving Father, thank you very much for your love that gives us security. And thank you for your love, Lord, that is unconditional. It does not require us to do good. It does not require us to pay for it. It does not require us to work for it. Thank you for your unconditional love, which you have shown in the cross through Jesus Christ. And thank you that uh, you have given us the opportunity to experience that love if we come to you Lord in repentance and humble ourselves before you thank you Lord because you promise that uh, you will be with us and you will be the Lord of our life if we invite you Lord if we respond to your love Lord so I pray for everyone who's listening right now everyone who's afraid everyone who is uh, insecure everyone who is uh, wondering does someone care lord we know you care uh, above everything that is happening you care lord and uh, you're just a prayer away so i pray that whoever is listening right now who is trying to look uh, for this love lord i pray he or she will go to you lord he or she will seek you and you have promised us that when we seek you, you will be found. I pray that your love will be in their hearts right now, in all of us. And that in you will find this security, Lord, that no one can take away from us. Not even COVID, Lord, can take away from us. Thank you very much, Lord, for loving us. And thank you for holding us, O oh Lord, in this trial. And we trust you, Lord, that you're in control and that in due time lord according to your mercy these things lord will come to pass in jesus name i pray amen and so i uh, thank you for listening and taking time to join me in this uh, first sincerely yours uh, post about uh, in his love the song of sandy patty in his love so um i also would like to take this time to encourage everyone to really stay safe, uh, observe the social distances, and wearing masks when you go out, washing your hands, and being careful uh, with the surfaces that we touch. And I also would like to encourage everyone to, in during this lockdown, you can spend time watching other videos that talks about God's love, listening to music that points you to God's love, uh, and also spend time with your family and also we would like to encourage everyone uh, in ways that you can if you can help in any way that you can uh, let us support uh, our frontliners not just the medical people but the military the AFP the people who are still working to keep the basic operations right now the government people so let's do our part to support them in prayers in practical ways um, in our church we have been trying to help by uh, providing masks uh, in even in small amounts for our medical people in one of the hospitals here and uh, we are also starting to help uh, the groups that are have been doing fabulous work uh, to make face shields 
uh, and also there's one that is also starting um, I mean many designers we know we know one whom we are partnering with Jojo Martinez is also making uh, sewing PPEs right now and also the group of Clive Guanson who are installing making and installing sanitation tents um, in the different hospitals and we have uh, someone who is working in Soto and she said that they still need more uh, tents like that so if you want to help you can uh, send me a message I can give you details how you can also forward your donations to them and so I pray that we will all work together to face this crisis uh, in the power and the grace of our Lord and the wisdom of our Lord God bless your day